Hi, Mar. Hi, Arch Bell with CONCACAP.com. I know it's a tough defeat tonight, but what what are some of the positive things that you can take from this Gold Cup experience and then apply to this uh, next World Cup cycle? Well, I think we 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 grew as a team. We know more about each other, uh, both on the pitch and off the pitch. I think that is a a good good experience for us to have spent this. It's almost five weeks now together. So from um, like a ten days in in pre camp for the for for the Gold Cup, so they have learned more about me, my my strengths and weaknesses, and and we have learned about the players. So, and then partnerships within the, the team has has grown. So it's hard to say it after uh, a loss like this that we have improved as a team. But uh, I'm gonna say it anyway. Um, yeah, and I, th I think the future for Jamaica national team is is bright if we do it in a correct way and continue to do it in a in a correct way. Okay, go ahead. Good evening, coach. Uh, Robert Williams, IRFM Jamaica. In three hundred and sixty-two minutes of football, Jamaica avoided conceding a goal in the first half. After two minutes today, we were down, or Jamaica was down 1 0. What happened today? Because 30 minutes, 28 minutes after that, there was another. What went wrong? Yeah, let's, let, let's give Mexico a, a, a big credit today. I, th I think um, they were much fresher than us on the day, to be fair. And congratulations to, to Mexico to qualify for the. For the final match, for us, it's it was always tough to concede a goal in the first minute. So it's kind of a, a slap in the face to have it, and it, it comes after our set piece. They they break forward and and score. Then I think we, it took us some time to grow into the game, um, because it was it was such a blow and it was not according to the game plan. Of course, you know you don't plan to concede in the first minute, but. I think we grew into the game. So the second goal is again from our set play, set play and, and they have a, a break up the pitch, have a free kick, and I was just watching the the goal, the goal on TV. It's it's a fantastic shot, and it's, yeah, it's hard to hard to say we could have done anything from that, that free kick. So two zero at half time and and a fresh Mexico team. I think though. I think though second half we gave them a match. We 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 came strong in. We showed a lot of character. We we got some chances, and we put up a more fight against them. I think we 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 kind of respected them a little bit too much in the first half, or it was Ty's legs probably. But second half we showed a lot of character, and the third goal is is just we are forcing everyone forward to to try to get this game changing goal uh, and of course we we are open at the back and the third goal is yeah it, it could always happen if we didn't score our goal so yeah it's a it's a hard defeat to take but we we try to look at the positives and and see what we can use to work on in the future okay. go ahead please hello coach uh, jose del valle from espn I think Jamaica tonight had the better players, but collectively, your guys weren't able to execute. Why was that? What was key? No, like I said, I think um, I think it was uh, is difficult to analyze these things. They played more collectively. I, I agree with that. Uh, the things that they did, they su they succeeded in the things they were trying to do. I think we were a little bit too individual when we were attacking. So I think you you your analysis is right, correct. Why? No, that's a deeper answer. So I think you, your analysis is is uh, is kind of spot on. We we didn't move the ball well in the first half. Uh, collective defending was not as quick and and aggressive as we have shown. But second half we we changed it so we were more aggressive and then we we kind of matched them at least. Please go ahead. Hello, coach. Uh, Kashmir Gomez here for ESPN. What message? What message can give uh, Jamaica today to the other national teams in Concacaf that 
at this moment has not increasing his level like Costa Rica, El Salvador, that his presentation are not so well like Jamaica in in this present in this uh, Gold Cup. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I don't think we are sending any messages to the others. We're, we're just trying to focus on ourselves. So yeah, it's it's. I think it's a beginning of hopefully a, a successful journey for Jamaica until 2026. Like I, like we said, we we wanted to win it. We wanted to win this competition, but we are thinking long term, not short term. Uh, and like I said, I, I don't know what the others are doing, so I cannot I cannot talk about the other team. Sorry. Okay, now we'll uh, take some questions from the media who have joined us virtually. Please, uh, Rachid Bartman. Yes, hello, yes. coach. Um, after Jordan, friendly against Jordan, we spoke about um, balls into the box, balls across the face of goal and defending them. We saw some issues with it again tonight, um, especially marking the player uh, in the six-yard area. We spoke about it then, uh, about almost a month ago. How much work is there still to be done on this? And also, um, Ethan Pinnock, he didn't join the squad. We, we heard about some personal issues, but he played for Brentford today in a friendly. What, what happened there? Why he turned off for Brentford and not Jamaica? Thank you. We start with... Defending and defending crosses. I think we what we did poorly, uh, and when when they had three three crosses, then it's difficult to 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 stop the players, especially when you don't when you don't take the time factor out of the cross. It's difficult to defend it. Uh, but from defending in general crosses, I I. I I don't know if I agree with that we defended that poorly, but I will have to look at that, that again. Pinnock, Pinnock is, is, and we talked about it very openly. Normally, it's it's just personal reasons, but we explained why uh, he didn't or couldn't come and join us. We were hoping all the time that he would come at some point, uh, but it's easier to go and play in England when you are in England that, than coming to to USA and spend a week or 10 days uh, and then leaving your family that, that needs your support but you can always go a day or two uh, or sorry or, or a few hours to, to play a game in England so that is that is understandable there's no grudge from us to Ethan he was really considering coming if his circumstances were better and we of course wouldn't have selected him if he wasn't coming but things happen in, in life that is bigger than football and uh, yeah, we we have all the respect for for Ethan. Please, uh, Livington Scott, go ahead. Livington Scott. It's on the other. Um, sorry, sorry. Yes, coach. Evening. Evening. Um, my concern is. Tonight's game, um, we, we see him a bit lacking in midfield. I um, think the game tonight could have could have done with a, a, a competent ball handler like Ravel, um, Tariq Magee, and in, in my opinion, even probably Daniel Jans, who, who was to me probably our best, most composed ball angler distributor of the ball in the games that I saw. I think the, the game itself could have done with a, a, a midfielder that, that, that could have taken charge of the game in the middle of the park. Yeah, we probably would have needed to add in a midfielder if we look at the game, but I respect your opinion on, on other players, but these were the players that we picked. I, th I think in general, just collectively, collectively both defending and attacking, we we were not as good as we have been. But let's also give credit to to Mexico. We haven't played as good team as Mexico was in this game until now. Please go ahead. Last question. Yeah, thank you, Paul Nicholson, Inside World Football. Um, you obviously got the probably the most exciting attacking front three, or probably front four. Somehow it doesn't quite seem to be joining up do you think you're you're getting closer to get them to join up and to link or is that still a work in progress yeah it's of course still a work in progress so some of these guys are playing with jamaica for the first time 
like mm, Demi is playing for the for the first time for Jamaica. So both uh, knowing the tactics, knowing the teammates, etc., will will improve. I know that for a fact. Um, so I hope so. At least that it will improve. But but let's see. And and uh, I agree. Th- this is a really exciting front line when you look at it. But it needs to be collective, of course. So they need to do other things as well, not only be exciting going forward. Okay, with this last question, we have concluded uh, Jamaica's official press conference. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Coach Helvingram.